was thinking I was green then. Who was thinking I was green then? 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 Green then. Who was thinking I was green then? I was green then. People was thinking I was mean today. I was mean today. So people, people, people was thinking I was mean today. Hello. Hey, this is Laura. And I got another topic for you. A discussion. Something to talk about. And that topic is protective, not just mean. Protector and not just me. So that's the topic. You ever run into somebody you think was being mean to you, or you don't know what was going on? Why were they acting like that with you? And they mean in your world, just mean to you. Seem like some for no reason, huh? Well. Here we're drawn to me, and I want to stop and give you a chance to think about it for a moment. I want you to be able to just to decide whether this person you were dealing with was just being mean, flat out mean, or being protective. Were they having a bad day, or they were just being protective? What is it? So I have some pointers I uh, wanted to touch up on and I sat down and I thought about it because I was like, hey, everybody's probably, you know, experienced that somebody has been mean to them and we don't like that, right? Of course, we don't. We don't like uh, when people are mean to us. And we want to try to get down to the bottom of things if we can and try to find out what's going on. Because if they're being mean and you have to be mean back or if they have an attitude and you have an attitude, that might not mix in together for some people. So um, I, I thought about sometimes maybe we are mean to people or maybe people are mean to us and it's some things i thought about you know maybe that we just did not want to do some things we didn't even want to say and we thought about have you thought about and say why did i say this to this person why did i let them get me so upset why did i do things to someone why did i do these types of things you know um just to be thinking about it, I say sometimes I may have went down this road and people say, hey, well, you're being mean to me. You know what? Guess what? Sometimes I just really wanted to be nice. Can you think about that? And you think you're being around some people and they really want to be nice to you, but then it just comes out a whole nother way versus somebody who just enjoys just being mean to you. So you got to accept these things. And this is the impression uh, that you get about these people. You're like, they're just so mean. I don't want to come their way. Or maybe I'll do something, yeah, to aggravate them because they want to be so mean. Then I'll get them something to be mean about. I don't know. You know, everybody's different. And so by me you know, experiencing different types of friendships, relationships, and just dealing with people in general, I realized that I had to take a look at some things because like back then, people would call you weak, slow, uh, think of you as nothing, think of you a reject, a buster, not to offend anybody because let me tell you, I'm not here to bring up any names of who, because I actually don't remember who these name callers were. Because we all, uh, especially when we were younger, we did it. And uh, you're thinking like, why are these little kids calling people names and stuff? Telling people they're no good. Even today um, in society, people are telling people that they're no good. 
we can't help how they were raised and how they act and how they deal with things. So all of those things can play into part. But it's up for you to determine it if you are going to, you know, just decide to deal with these people and say, hey, well, they're mean. I shouldn't have to deal with them and nobody should. But guess what? They need to have people in their lives just like you need in yours. So if one day you happen to turn around and be this mean person, you'll know how they feel. You'll know how they felt that they still needed somebody too. And it's, you know, always somebody for someone to hang around when they have that understanding. See, when you have that understanding about somebody, guess what? You can still hang out with them because you're like, hey, they're just that's just them. You know, if you can deal with it, then that's good. That's good if you can because everybody's not the same, right? So I thought about this, um, talking about this, and I'm like, um, I've been to situations where I know for a fact that I was just being protective. You know, if somebody says something to me that I didn't like and I try my best to defend myself and say I say something back, I'm talking about this stuff started when we were very young. So that's just protecting yourself, saying something back. A lot of people say, hey, you're just a sarcastic person, this and that. Look, you're defending yourself the best way you know how. Have you ever thought about it? Um, everybody, um, they are, they're people, but they have their own way of dealing with things like that. So, um, let me go in here and just think about, like, so just remember, like, is it protective or being mean? When someone calls you out, out of your name, or they call you different names than other than what, than what you were born with, it's just something that people uh, do, or it's just around them. You know, people get bored, they say things, then they get a habit of doing things. So, in each situation, it has to be different, I know. Um... After you've been mean to someone, let's talk about that. After someone has been mean to you or you've been mean to them, I think that sometimes it's hard for people to think that you're going to ever be sincere or that you can ever mature. Because this topic is drawn to me right now. And I'm thinking like, you know what? When people are kids, they act like kids. Just like when they're babies, they act like babies. So when they're adults, they act more like adults but sometimes people don't mature at the same level age and time and I had to realize I had to learn how to accept that and learn how to deal with it because I was like I can I, I still have the option to pick and choose who I can actually deal with but that's according to you know how much I can handle what you can handle with one of these people might be a little bit different than what I can handle. You'd be like, hey, why are they so snappy today? Not just me, anybody. You'll say, why are they so snappy today? Just because somebody said this, they're just kidding. Can't you take a joke? Have a little fun sometime. You know what? Sometimes people are more serious than they were before and that might be hard for people to deal with so then you turn around and you see them acting mean but they were calling you mean and now you're there mean so that's why i say it's different situations you know um everybody probably was mean sometimes okay even when you was a baby you start crying crying and screaming you know <laughs> Hey, you know, but you you know, most people don't remember when they were a baby, but you see babies get out loud, toddlers screaming on, and they know. The parents already told them, hey, don't do this when we're out, but they'll do it anyway, right? All right. Um, so, um, now, like, when you're a female, you think it's so different when you're dealing with a mean 
God, you know, like when you're kids, you're kids, but some people don't think of it like that. They think like if you're a guy, you shouldn't be messing with a female, right? You shouldn't be picking with her. You shouldn't be uh, pushing on her and doing all types of things. And if she's giving you some issues, you need to report that. If it's such a problem for you, you can report her. And then maybe she can just leave you alone. If if the case is not too crazy. Um, but if you're a female, like females are different than males. And men are supposed to be uh, stronger, right? So... You think to yourself, why would a man pick with a female? Why would he yell at her? Why would he try to back her in the corner and take advantage of a female? He's a male. He's supposed to be so many times stronger than this female. But yet, uh, some people may think it's okay to to pressure the women or do whatever they want in their man. Really? I disagree. I think that men are not supposed to be attacking on females. No matter how crazy this female seems, you know that you're strong. Why would you uh, deal with it, you know? Why would you do, you know, certain things and be mean to women? I'm thinking that that's questionable. Okay. Um, and so a lot of people have kids of them their own i understand that it seems to me that some women may take advantage of men and go too far and they probably do but have you stopped and thought about do you really have to be in a relationship with this person can't you get in a relationship with someone else or can't you hang out with someone else have you stopped to think about that before you just start you know going nuts So I just wanted to bring that up because I was like, you know, men are, are going to be men and you, you're stronger. And I know um, it's hard when someone is, when a woman is in the wrong. Okay. I know because I have to deal with men in my family and I wouldn't dare allow a female to come up to them and just, just do them any kind of way. That's something that I'm not going to just allow. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm assuming that the female that knows me know that I'm not going to allow that. Okay? So, um, we stop and think about these times of why people are mean sometimes. And um, I'm not saying that just because you're a man that you should be going back and forth with another man. It doesn't make you any better either to keep going through with all of these things. You understand what I'm saying? But it's just that your everybody's maturity level hits at different times. It comes, you know, they, 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 they deal with it and it grows upon them at different times. So um, anybody that's picking with someone, I don't necessarily say that um, that's good, a good look for you, okay, at the end of the day. So let me stop and tell you that I have uh, not considered myself as to be a picker. Now, the, the times that I feel is when I have to go back and forth with somebody and then they made me mad and I got to pick and pick and pick. And I don't just go and find somebody and say, hey, yeah, you, come here. I got to pick with you. This is not the type of person that I am. And the people that I hang out with, I'm quite sure that they're on the same level as with me. And they're not doing those types of things too. But if they are, come on now. How can I know that they're doing uh, these types of behaviors? Okay, there's no excuse. Um, people are going to be mean sometimes. The word mean is in the dictionary. So if it hadn't been in there, nobody, nobody would have to act upon it. But it's an actual thing that happens. But now, I think that sometimes people are mean for different reasons. Like... For instance, for myself, I wanted to stand up for myself. And that's something that anybody should want to do. If they can stand up for themselves, then, you know, do what you have to do. 
because sometimes people are not able to stand up for themselves. And this is causing people to be mean because someone is picking with you, saying things that you don't like, and you got to stand up for yourself. And that's what I had to do. Some people are mean because they have lack of of control of themselves. So that's a lack of self-control. People are protectors. Like I'm a protector of me and my things. I'm a protector of who and what I love. So the people that I love and who I love, then I'm a protector of them. For instance, I'm not gonna fight over them and say, "Hey, like I, I don't, I don't, I should have to fight over what's mine," you know. So, um, I'm a natural protector, and I started out naturally protecting myself. I never had any problems like with my brother or my sister, where I really had to just stand up for them all the time. Um, although I did not mind doing those types of things because. Um, you protect what you love or who you love. And most people do it the best way they can do it. So uh, it's difficult sometimes because dealing with people can seem difficult and you're like, how do I deal with this situation? Um, like this. If you're feeling like you're being taken advantage of, you might be mean to someone. If you felt like you've been mistreated or you're like uh, someone isn't treating you fairly, you might be mean. How many times? Maybe a hundred times or more. All of these times for these things. And then I know I, you know, back in the day was mean because I didn't want to be talked about. How many people want to be talked about? But it happens. And some people have learned how to deal with it better and even laugh it off. So um, another thing is I was mean because I didn't like low ranking. You know, if you get a low rank, you're like, oh, I don't want a low rank in anything. I, of course, I want to be up on the top charts, you know, the high rankings. But sometimes we fall on the low ranking. And I even learned how to deal with that. So um, quite naturally, I don't have to be mean about it because I actually learned how to deal with those things because um, I'm going to get into that. Basically, I think sometimes it's hard for people, you know, and for me, I didn't even have to, I didn't feel the need to impress people. So maybe that's my issue. Because I just did things as if I was, you know, um, at some points in times, like I didn't want to impress. So, like, I did things, I liked the, the uh, I liked the uh, result that I got out of people when they like something that I do, but it's like, I quite naturally just come out and do stuff and it just seems to happen to impress some people, whatever it is. Uh, but naturally, I was like, you know, just trying to be myself and I didn't feel the need to, you know, try to impress people. So, um, you know, of course, still I didn't like low rankings and I don't you know, it, it might not affect me as much now, but in a way, yeah. So, like, I didn't like or want to be bullied um, or called out. And a lot of people don't like to be called out. And, you know, they learn how to deal with it with respect to the other adults, other people. They do what they do. Um, you can't fault everybody for not knowing what to do. So that's the thing when you learn that this is what it is. It is, you know. Um, you don't have to get so mad if you, you know, got the control that you need of yourself because sometimes you know I would get a little rough you know and I actually didn't know <laughs> that I had roughness in me you know as far as like 
oh, you know, how the people battle back and forth and and tussle and, you know, with each other. I didn't know that that was there until actually someone probably tried to pick with me or say something. It wouldn't, it would have just probably stayed there if nobody hadn't have done that. Because I was like, I didn't know. I just stopped and think about it. I didn't know, you know, I was just being a natural uh, kid doing what I do. Uh, just being a kid or being a person, you know, in, in, in the world. Um... And, you know, like, when you act out, like, young people and being me, um, like, for me, I felt like it took away, like, from my opportunities, like, um, because people judge you right away, and they say, hey, what kind of person is this? A person that wants to defend themselves and deserves to. I think anybody understands that. People didn't even want you as much as to step on their shoe and put a little piece of dirt on it. Why would I want you picking with me, calling me names, or trying to make me feel down or low or feel bad about myself? Because that wasn't uh, what I was about. So, when you stop and you think about whether it, you, you're being protective or you're being mean, you have to determine, is, is this what the people are doing? Are they just trying to be flat out mean to me for no reason? Or, you know, are they just trying to be protective? Or is there something in them? Uh, why is this even in them to even want to protect themselves? Why? Because we have a need to exist, to be, to be here and to count for something, to be someone in this world. And I think that that's why people do it. Even if they're wrong, they're defensive and they're protective about themselves. They're, they are. You know, I'm not talking about people who grew out of stuff, doing stuff that they have no business doing. I'm talking about people who still don't mind doing it and they still want to be protective of themselves. It's something within us that wants to exist. So, and I can speak uh, for myself. I don't. I don't consider myself as a mean person. I consider myself as the type of person who wants to be who they are without the, um, without somebody else's approval of who I want to be. If I want to sit quiet in a room for twenty four hours a day, then that's what I want to do. If I want to talk loud for 24 hours a day, then that's what I want to do. I just want to be who I am, and I feel like people deserve to do that without interrupting other people. If someone isn't out trying to cause you harm, why are you trying to cause them harm? And that's the thing. If nobody's out trying to offend you or hurt you, why would you try to go out and offend them or hurt them? Tell me, what do you think? I, I would really like to hear some comments on this because this is a big topic that a lot of people probably wouldn't even talk about. This is a real touchy subject, okay? Um, people don't like to be called out or embarrassed because sometimes when you're mean to people, it causes them to be embarrassed, okay? Now, you might ask me, have I been embarrassed? I think, yes, we've all been embarrassed about something. And sometimes when they know, or maybe they just don't know, I think what they'll do is try to call you out on it. And then they'll bring it up, and you'll hear it, and you'll hear it, and you hear it. Like, um, I am embarrassed about something. And, and one of those things is being mean to you, calling you out your name and saying things that I had no business saying to you um, because I just couldn't control myself. But then who can I blame, you know? I'm not going to do the blame thing. As you heard um, me um, discussing about blaming others, you can go and listen to that. No one wants to be blamed for anything, so... 
Um, you know, a lot of these people have children now, and they want to just, you know, what what they gonna tell them about their childhood? This 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 happened. Oh, this one's picking with me. That one said this about me. Like, you know, you drop those things and you feel like, you know, the kids might want to dig it up. They might want to know, hey, mom, anybody ever pick with you? They didn't say this or do that. So, yeah, uh, being mean to people could cause you to be embarrassed and bring up things. Um, and you think about it later and you think that people won't think about it because they forgot or they said, well, let's just, you know, call it even or whatever they want to say. They say, hey, uh, I apologize. They come back and apologize. Maybe they really mean it. What you think about that? So I want you to comment about this subject and tell me something that maybe you had to deal with that can probably help somebody else to get over it and move on because at some point in time we need to move forward and that's just what it is because people make mistakes and we don't want to keep making the same ones if you can control it and you don't have to be mean to somebody, do the best you can do. Or you just don't have to hang out with them because sometimes we don't, we're in a situation where we cannot pick it. We at the same school and we shouldn't have to change schools just because you don't like what I'm doing. I've seen people change classrooms and that, that helped out a lot better. But people shouldn't have to change schools just because you want to act out or you don't like them or you don't like what they're wearing or you don't like what they're saying or whatever. They have a right to be free. If you need somebody to talk to, I want you to send your number to confabhelp at yahoo.com. That's C O N. F A B H E L P at yahoo.com. And someone will be waiting to call you back or to give you a number that you can call back. Preferably, you can put your phone number in there and someone can call you back and help you with um, a situation like this that you need someone to talk to about, okay? C O N F A B. H E L P at yahoo.com. It's not hard to remember confab help at yahoo.com. Thank you for tuning in. This is drawn to me. My name is Laura. And I thank you for hanging out with me and listening. And I hope you come back. I hope that these words will help you. I hope that any of the videos or recordings can help you. Ta-ta.
Who was thinking I was green then? 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 Who was Hello. Hey, this is Laura. And I got another topic for you, a discussion, something to talk about. And that topic is protective, not just me. Protective and not just me. So, that's the topic. You ever run into somebody you think was being mean to you or you don't know what was going on? Why were they acting like that with you? Were they mean in your world? Just mean to you. Seem like for some for no reason, huh? Well, I'm here with drawing to me and I want to stop and give you a chance to think about it for a moment. I want you to be able to just to decide whether this person you were dealing with was just being mean, flat out mean.